Hello guys, welcome back to Chubby Chemistry Study. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about 15 most important topics that you must cover before you say that you are ready for your jam chemistry. So not like these topics are the only topics you need to study, but you have to cover those 15 topics before you say that you are 70% ready for your jam chemistry. It's very important. Also, I told you guys that I make use of this past question. I'm not saying you should go and buy it now because it's already late. I make use of this past question that is per 50 past question. They arrange their equations topic by topic. That means each topic they'll bring out all the questions they have asked on that particular topic. And that is how I'm able to compile those 15 topics that I think are the most important that you must cover before you say that you are 70% ready for your jam chemistry. Let's get straight to those topics. So, but before we get straight to them, make sure you have your pen and your paper so that as I'm listing those topics, you'll be writing them down. So if you if you have not covered any of them, you can go and read them immediately. Hope you understand. But before that, before we get into the main video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. You're not paying anything to like or subscribe. So just hit that red subscribe button and also like this video. Let's get straight to it, guys. Okay, so like I said earlier, hope you have your pen and your paper so that as I'm listing those topics, you'll just be writing them down so that once you are done watching this video, you now mark those ones that you have studied and those ones you have not studied so that you can read them out immediately because you know we don't have time again. Okay, so the number one on our list is all gas laws. When I mean all gas laws, that is the Lussac's law, Boyce's law, Charles law, pressure law, general gas law, all the laws in case, all the gas laws, go and study them. They have asked 102 questions on those uh, on those topics so far. 102 questions so far. So the next one is um the ne next the next one is um um acid, base, and salts. You know, if you actually you have started studying, you must if actually you have you have like you have opened your chemistry at all, you must have studied this topic. It's actually very important. There is calculations under this topic. And there is also non calculations under this topic. So endeavor to study this topic before you say you are ready to uh, take your jam chemistry. Also, the next one, okay, I forgot. They have asked them, um, they have asked 102 questions on those on this particular topic. So the next one is solubility and solubility curve. Solubility and solubility curve is actually very important in jam. So far, they have asked 66 questions on this topic. The next one is um bonding and atomic structures that is where you have to study your concept of atoms who discovered nucleus who discovered the uh, proton who discovered each and everything and also know when this one um they can give you like a particular they can give you like maybe they will say they, they can give you like a uh, sodium and ask you how many electrons are in this one or how many protons does sodium have you should be able to know that it's very important so far they have asked 63 questions on this particular topic so the next one is electrolysis. Electrolysis is like very important topic in jam. There is no way you go and uh, you take your jam chemistry and you not see equation on this particular topic. So so far they have asked um, eighty two questions on this question uh, on this particular topic. I mean sorry. Okay, so the next one is a um, rate of chemical reaction slash activation energy. So so far they have asked. 87 questions on on this particular topic. This topic is very important. There is calculation part and also there is non-calculation part. So make sure you study this particular topic before you enter the hall. The next one is the chemical equilibrium and Chatelier's principle. This particular topic is very important and can be confusing sometimes. So you should know when the particular reaction is flowing backward and backward, it's going backward and also when it's going forward. So make sure you study this particular topic and also solve lots of past questions on this particular topic. It's very important. Okay, so the next one is um the next one is um periodic table. If actually you have been watching my videos, I always say this periodic table is the genesis of chemistry. You can't tell me that you have gone so far in chemistry and you have not studied periodic table because almost everything in chemistry revolves around periodic table. So you must study your periodic table. You should know your periodic, periodic table. And also let me give you guys this trick. On the door of your jam exam, as you have entered the hall immediately and you guys are seated, before they say you guys should start, please, on that maybe like 30 seconds, you will be given to that they will give you when, when you enter the hall. Draw your periodic table immediately and mark out the groups and the periods and also just write down the first 20 elements immediately because it's very important. Next one is um, 
Okay, how many questions have they asked so far on periodic table? They have asked them seven questions on periodic table. So the next one is um, organic chemistry. When I mean organic chemistry, you know, in chemistry uh, jam, you will have you will be given forty questions. So on that, uh, in that forty questions, eight to ten questions will be on organic chemistry. So it's very important, and also the mo the most important uh, organic compounds that you need to study very well is study your alcohols. It's very important. Study your alkanes. It's very important, and then your alkanes. Then you can study the rest as well. But you see those three alcohols, um, alkanes and al uh, alkenes, they are very important. Also study your carboxylic, carboxylic acids. Study everything, but you can just, don't don't focus more on amide and uh, amines. Those ones are not that important to jump. So, but study that your alkenes, um, alkenes and alcohols, they are very important. Also, so far they have asked 302 questions on organic chemistry so far. So what is the next one? The next one is uh, enthalpy change and entropy. Study this particular topic. It has calculation and also non-calculation parts. So ensure you study this particular topic very well before you enter your jump and uh, you enter the jump and uh, jump off for your chemistry. Also, the next one is metals. So when it comes to these metals, you have group one metals, group two metals, and group and three. But the two important ones are the two most important ones are group one and group two metals. That is a uh, alkaline earth metals and alkaline metals study those two topics and also study your sodium metal calcium metal those two are very important those two are very important so the next one is a uh, the next one is a uh, uh, carbon and its compound study the allotropes of carbon study and uh, your diamond uh, your di uh, yes your diamond and i can't remember the rest but study everything study the whole allotropes of carbon it's very important the next okay for the metals and for the metals they have asked for six questions on on them so far and then for um, al um, carbon and its allotropes they have asked that there's two questions on them so far then the next one is sulfur and its compound it's very important they have asked 22 questions on this topic so far so what is, which one is remaining again now which one is remaining again oh I've not talked about oxidation and uh, reduction reaction uh, oxidation and reduction that's where you have, they can ask you which one of these they can give you an equation and ask this one is acting as a what it can be reducing agent or oxidizing agent and also you can be asked the oxidation number of a particular atom in a comp uh, in a compound so so far they have asked 101 questions on oxidation and reduction please ensure you study this topic it can be confusing sometimes but ensure you study this topic it's very important so what is the next one the next one is air as a mix mixture they have asked for three questions on air as a mixture they have asked for three questions on it so far so guys that will be the end of this video for today i will also compile the most important topics i need to study for your biology so that's why you need to like this video and also subscribe so that you don't miss out in my next video i love you guys to your boy truly